On this episode of Soldier Tech Battlefield, we take a look at the keyboards on three of the top cell phones on the market right now, and we're gonna see which one's gonna come out the best. So let's go ahead and start the show. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. I'm your host, Mark Watson, otherwise known as Soldier Knows Best here on the interwebs. But anyway, this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the virtual keyboards on three of the hottest cell phones in the market, the iPhone 5, the HTC One, and the BlackBerry Z10. So me personally, I type more than I talk on my phone. It's probably the same case for a lot of you out there. And so the virtual keyboard is very, very important in my normal day use. So anyway, the categories for this battle are going to be layout features, autocorrect, speed dictation, and predictive text. So let's gonna start this battle by taking a look at the layout of these keyboards. Now all three of these keyboards have a different layout to the way they put the keys on the screen and that just really makes a different feel between each one of these devices. And I would say the one I like the least would be the HTC ones because there's really no separation you know, between the letters and I just feel that everything's kind of just meshed together. What you find on the iPhone and the BlackBerry Z10, there's some separation there between the letters. And for me that makes for a faster typing experience. And on the Z10, all the buttons are bigger than what you find on the iPhone, uh, but they don't feel too big. Again, you don't feel like you need to stretch your fingers uh, to get to a lot of different things on there. And really just the color tones of this keyboard really make the letters on the individual keys really stand out. And so ultimately the layout of the BlackBerry Z10's keyboard just makes for a faster and more comfortable typing experience. So the Z10 is gonna take this layout category. Now the next category is going to be features and first off I will say the iPhone doesn't have that many features it just has the best emoticons out of the bunch I will say that but other than that it doesn't really have anything going with it uh, but if you take a look at the, the BlackBerry Z10 and the HTC One they have a good amount of features to them the HTC One does have the technology where you can kind of just slide your finger across the, the keyboard itself and you, that really makes for a very fast typing experience if, if that's your personal style that's how you like to do it uh, which it does a pretty good job at it and both the uh, BlackBerry Z10 and the HTC One uh, have the ability to add different attachments, videos, your GPS location, pictures, documents, and things like that uh, built into the keyboard. You don't have to go into a separate application like you had to do on the iPhone for some of that stuff. Uh, but I would say that the Z10 does have a couple more options when it comes to attaching things to a, a message itself from the keyboard, so I would give it that. And then we take a look at how you actually use the keyboard on the Z10. They have gesture input, so if you want to uh, delete a word, you simply just swipe to the left on the keyboard. You don't have to find the, the backspace button. Um, or if you want to change from the letters to the numbers, uh, you actually just swipe down on the keyboard or you can keep swiping down to switch through the multiple keyboard layouts, which does save a lot of time. And then there are keyboard shortcuts on the Z10 as well, so when you're ready to end a sentence and start a new one, instead of hitting the period button, then hitting the space bar, just quickly double tap the space bar and it'll add a period and then start a new sentence for you. And again, that saves time. And then it also has heat mapping technology to learn where you actually meant to press on the keyboard. Instead of just learning what you meant to say as far as words, but learning exactly where your finger hit on the keyboard and slowly adjusting those keys uh, to, to go along with your typing style. And all this, again, just makes for a lot of good features on the BlackBerry Z10, and that's gonna take this category as well. Now the next category is going to be autocorrect and I typed a series of sentences on each one of these devices. It was the same exact sentence and I misspelled the same exact words. And I would say my, my experience was even on all of these devices. Now maybe a couple years ago, iOS would have been way, way, way behind. Uh, but just doing the autocorrect and all of them, they, they usually found out exactly what I was trying to say and corrected it automatically without having me to swipe or do anything like that. Um, so I would say that the keyboards, as far as autocorrect, is a tie. Now the next category is going to be speech dictation where I'm just going to be talking to all three of these phones at the same time using their built-in microphones and they're going to be trying to type what I say. And so the best way for me to show you this is just to show you that. So here, watch this little clip of me trying this out and we'll see which one comes out on top. Check it out. Where are we going later today? Question mark. I'll be getting off of work around 3 p.m. Period. Hit me up later, period. What are you wearing? Question mark. Mmm, period. Uh oh, ACC one got a little bit of that mmm. <laughs> So as you can see, all three of these phones were pretty spot on when it comes to putting my speech into text. But I really did like that the HTC One did everything in real time. So if you see that you are making a mistake, you can quickly just stop there and correct it. Instead of on the other two devices, uh, you can just keep talking and talking and talking. You don't know exactly what it's picking up. And if you do have mistakes, you have a lot more time to go back and correct them. So I'm actually gonna give this speech dictation category to the HTC One. 
And now on to the last category, this is going to be predictive text. Now the iPhone does have predictive text, but it's really just for big words, and it's kind of intrusive when it does happen. Uh, the bubble just pops right over the word that you're typing already, so I really don't like it. it. It kind of feels far behind everything else on the market right now. And then moving on to the HTC One, it has kind of the normal predictive text mode that a lot of the smartphones have nowadays, where as you're typing above the keyboard, it'll have like a row of about three or four uh, words that it's assuming that you may be trying to type. And then if you see the word that you are trying to type, just simply tap it, and it'll go ahead and fill that in and you can go ahead and keep typing and moving on to the next word but take a look at the blackberry z10 it takes a kind of a more radical approach to predictive text that we really haven't seen before where um, actually as you're typing it will populate the word right above the letter that you're typing on and so after you use it a few times it just really makes sense and so as you're typing you don't have to lift your finger up and go to the top of the keyboard no you just keep typing and then you find the word that you want that's above the letter you just swipe up that's it just simply swipe up and it'll go ahead and add that word add a space and now you're ready to move on to the next word so you really you don't miss a beat when you're using this keyboard using the predictive text and so this also allows the z10 to present you with more words that you may actually be trying to type out and then also too i felt that it was more accurate than its competitors so this predictive text category is going to go to the z10 I right, said so that brings an end to this battle between the iPhone, the BlackBerry Z10, and the HTC One when it comes to their virtual keyboards. And the winner is the BlackBerry Z10, taking three out of the five categories. Now, Blackberries have always been known for their keyboards, uh, but this is easily the best keyboard I've ever used on a phone. And I mean, heck, I actually probably like it better than any other physical keyboard that I've used. That may be weird to say, um, but just the predictive text and everything with the uh, the keyboard is very smart and intelligent, and you won't be disappointed when you are using it. So anyway, guys, this wraps up this battle on another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. Leave a comment down below what you think about this keyboard battle and which one you think actually won. And thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you next week. Peace.